Overthinking, overthinking, how to control obsessive spiralling thoughts. I hate that when you get in a sort of a, an endless helix of thinking. It messes you up, doesn't it? I do it generally when I'm worrying about things. I'm always sending someone a message, they don't respond to it. Oh no, that message, they've not responded to it. Shit, what did I say? One of the times I most vividly noticed it was once when I took LSD as a teenager and I noticed I went into a circuit of terrifying negative thoughts and it was really, I suppose the only thing that was good about it is part of my mind was watching it happening, not from a sufficient enough distance to feel safe from it. I still felt really trapped in negative thought and often I do. Now what the greats would tell you, I'm talking about Muji, most likely sad guru, all these sort of enlightened masters that are marching down that path on invisible little tootsies made out of pure consciousness, they'd say, the awareness is everything. Who is aware of these thoughts? When you're thinking, oh God, oh no, I shouldn't have said that, or oh God, oh, I bet I'll lose this, or I bet I won't get that. It means we have, what Muji would say is, we've combined with the thoughts. We've combined, we've become wedded and embedded to the thoughts when the thoughts are something that we must observe. These days, several times a day, like say there was a moment where I was going into a jiu-jitsu class and I had to walk along this uh, little external corridor thing, I'm in Los Angeles, like sort of part, a, a, a sort of a landing, an external landing. And the, move, the journey between the toilet and the jiu-jitsu class, I was sort of regarding it as dead time, just like, well, this is meaningless, I'm not doing anything now. And I was just in a sort of a solipsistic, amble through sort of meaningless conscious activity thinking dredging about in there and i thought stop look around and i looked and i could see the hills the green and beautiful hills in the distance and i could feel the warmth in the air on my face eckhart toll would say use your senses to re-engage you with the moment feel the feeling of your hand even now my hand isn't touching anything i can feel the sensation that i have a hand the hand is aware. That is a type of awareness that is not thinking. If you find yourself thinking all of the time, one of the things that you will try is meditation. But then you will say, meditation? I try that meditation. I just sit there thinking. Meditation seems like this at first. You sit down, you try to, you close your eyes. Oh, I'm just thinking, I'm just basically just thinking stuff. I'm just thinking, how is this even meditation? They say, don't resist the thoughts. Don't have an attitude towards the thoughts. Allow the thoughts to come and go. People often use the metaphor of the flow of ocean waves or a shoreline. The thoughts come, the thoughts recede. How I've uh, started to, through meditation, you start to develop a stronger connection with the witness consciousness, the awareness. So when I am doing something like worrying or I'm afraid, I have a sort of a stronger connection. I suppose it's like, I don't know, we've got a weaker hand, isn't it? Unless you're ambidextrous. If I use the left hand all the time, I've got capacity that I can hold things with the left more. I don't always have to just habitually grip the right. And my bias towards the right will have a muscular component. It will have a neurological component. There'll be neurological pathways that I continually walk down. So the right hand feels like a more, it feels like the dominant hand. The constant ambling thinking mind feels like a dominant pattern. But if you learn to witness it more and more, that pattern, whilst it's not immediately going to disappear, its dominance starts to sub be subsumed, its dominance starts to seed. So I feel like the they're right, these great masters. Focus on your awareness. Focus on your awareness. Some people would tell you to get some CBT, like, you know, if you're constantly anxious. Someone talked to me about it. It was Blind Boy from Rubber Bandits. He goes, uh, what they teach with CBD, if you're anxious about going out, they'll go, what are you anxious about going out for? I go, oh, I don't know. I mean, am I going to get beat up, murdered? Well, how often does that happen? You know, they start to use rational tools to uh, unpick your neurotic um circambulating mind is that what i want to say circambulating i'm sure that's the right word either way you don't want to be constantly caught up in bloody limitless thoughts and the way out of it the way out of a tendency that you have mistaken for yourself and mistaken for your nature is to 
transcend your nature and the way you can do that is through meditation and the way you can do it in the moment is watching now. Oh, I'm literally sitting worrying. Why am I worrying about it? Let me just sit back. Let me just sit back and observe. Step outside thoughts, recognise that you're not your thoughts. Hello, I'm doing these new videos more frequently now. Please hit the notification button at the end of this video because then you'll get a, like a little bell when the, I post a new video and I'd like you to get a little bell when I post a video. Then I can, I don't know, be buzzing away in your pocket. Sounds like I'd be like a little pocket mosquito. Anyway, subscribe, click the bell because I want more people to watch the YouTube videos. You specifically.